At this point, you're ready to get into the hardcore research work. You've done a little searching, you've made sure that there are some articles and resources available on your topic, and you're ready to find all of the resources that you're going to need for your master's paper. As you do that, it's very important to know how to follow the study trail, how to find connections among the research articles that you're going to find. You will be asked in this work to have a balance of different kinds of articles. You will be asked to have some articles that are empirical studies, some that are theoretical. As you look at an article that you have found, what should you look for to make that decision? First of all, skim the headings. If you see an abstract, read the abstract. Skim the headings and see if you see anything about methodology. See if you see anything about research conclusions. If you see methodology, settings, participants, research conclusions, this is probably an empirical study that was done. It could also be a case study, but it's probably still empirical to some degree. If you see a lot of headings, but you don't see anything about a research method or settings or participants, then the article is probably theoretical. At that point, you have another decision to make, another thing to think about, and that is, who is writing this article and what are their credentials? Are they someone who is credible in their field? Are they someone that I can value as I read what they have written about my topic and research question? When you have found a few articles, both empirical and theoretical, that you believe are high quality and align well with your research question, use those articles to help you connect the dots. Look at those as a starting point. They can help network you to other resources. For example, as you read them and skim them, look for references to in-text experts. Whether it's a theoretical article or whether it's an empirical study, if they are mentioning names that you see over and over again, then this is a person you might want to dig into a little bit to see what else this person has written. That's a good connection for you. As you look at articles, look at things that are mentioned that are opposing views. If someone says, so-and-so disagrees with this theory because, then that is someone you may want to research. That's a name that you might want to use as another way to connect the dots. Look at the conclusions of a study. You might find something there that leads you to another person. For example, it might say something like, as was found in the study by so-and-so, and then you can reference that person's name or even that particular study. If the paper or article has a section called New Directions, look at that. They might be mentioning things that are cutting-edge research. There might be something that says, so-and-so is just beginning research on this, and that might be something that you want to pursue. One of the best ways to connect the dots in this kind of research is to look at the reference list of articles that you believe are very high quality. If you look at the reference list, that's going to connect you to all the people that that person used in their research. And sometimes you can look again for those names that appear over and over. You can look for names that are common. And sometimes these names have newer research that has been published since the time of this article. Any connections you can make are good connections. Also, look at the appendices of an article. Sometimes they will cite the person who has created that appendix, if it wasn't created by the author of that paper. That can be another connection for you. In all of this connecting, make sure you're thinking about that multiple perspectives piece, however. Sometimes it's easy to get one set of ideas and follow that one set of ideas all the way, rather than thinking, hmm, I wonder who disagrees with this. I wonder who's on the other side of this. So you want to make sure you're looking for that as well. As you do your research, your task is to try to find the whole pie, the big picture. Now, none of us are going to get to the point where we really complete that pie. But as the image that you see in front of you, if you can get the whole picture except one piece, that's good. We want to get as close to the whole pie as we can. We're asking you to find 20 resources that align with your research question. We want them to be a blend of theoretical and empirical studies. We want them to show multiple perspectives, not all one idea or articles that are all in agreement. We want you as the researcher to be objective as you possibly can, and that multiple perspectives piece helps with that. 
we want you to investigate all sides of the issue, even sides that you may think you're going to disagree with. Get the complete picture. That's the saturation piece. We want you, your brain as the researcher, to be completely saturated with all the information that is out there. We want you to saturate the market. We want you to find everything that you possibly can realistically in the time that you have to complete this paper. So be a detective. As you're researching, use the connections you have and connect the dots. Use the reference list. Use names that you see. If you just go in and do wild searches, you may come up with some good articles, and it's good to spend a little time doing that. But if you can use the connections that you're seeing, if you can connect the dots by using the reference list and using those names that you see over and over again, it's going to not only save you work, it's probably going to lead to stronger research. Good luck.